The impressive thing is that Arsenal had a bit of a run on beating, even though we were playing against pathetic um, teams in the EPL. I'm just looking forward to when we have Martial back. Another victory at Old Trafford. I mean, you guys are used to beating Arsenal. Every time we get a chance, especially at Old Trafford. I mean, I think something like in the last 14 years or so, they've only won one game or so at um, OT. So this is this business as usual. Nothing fantastic about this. I mean, the impressive thing is that Arsenal had a bit of a run on beating, even though we were playing against pathetic um, teams in the EPL. Uh, you know, but the good thing is that we got the three points, but we have a lot of work to do. ETH has a lot of work to do. We are still playing counter-attack football. The difference here is that our defence is much stronger, especially with the inclusion of Martinez and, um, and Malasia. They look on in, uh, unbelievable players, man. Unbelievable. Malasia is looking like a world-class fullback. If you can't beat him, is unbelievable. But you know what? ETH needs to fix our midfield because without the midfield, we're not going to get far. What do, what do you think your starting midfield should be going forward? For me, going forward, we should be starting with Casemiro, Eriksen, and um, uh, Bruno. So if you put the likes of Casemiro in the game, and you put the likes of Eriksen and Bruno, and you, that you, at least you have, out of the three midfielders, you have two people or two players that can retain the ball. Right now, you're playing with Mitomini, you can't hold the ball. You have Bruno, can't hold the ball. Only Eriksen. So that's why we're easily being outrun. So ETH needs to fix the midfield. It is important. What do you think of your debut guy, the five million pounds uh, winger? He's looking like a superstar already. Absolutely impeccable finish. One time left foot curl. I can see that he's going to bring something to the table that none of our wingers currently bring to the table. I'm just looking forward to when we have Martial back. I can uh, the, the thought of having a Martial, Anthony, and Sancho front three is already giving me goosebumps. I feel that's going to be our our real starting front three. And we can make great things happen from there. Uh, you were very critical of Rashford the entire game. He got, he got two goals. What do you think of his performance? What do you, or what do you think he should? You still give him a chance. He's very quick. You know, in terms of counter attacking, he's one of your best players because obviously he's very quick. What do you think? Rashford is a bench player at best. Yes, he got two goals. Impact. Two two goals. But if we play close attention, the sec the the first the, the first goal that he got. It was very obvious that he almost missed, if not for the deflection. It was clear he was he had all the time in the world, and he still couldn't hit the ball clean through. The third goal was a tapping. I mean, the issue with Rashford is that if he goes clean, if he has time on the ball, he can't make intelligent decisions on the ball. So reaction player has to be clear. reaction player, and to win big the big boys, to win the major trophies, you need players that can actually make something out of nothing. Whether it's a defender there or no defender there, and Rashford just doesn't have it. I mean, he's a good impact player. I feel he's a good player to have in your squad, but he cannot be part of our starting front three. Anyways, three points uh, back in the top for um, ETH liftoff. Nice work, congrats. Thanks for watching Tunnel TV content on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and also check out our other content if you really love our videos. Thank you for watching Tunnel TV. Powered by Avant Garde.